How hot should Kirk Ferentz's seat be right now? All right, so an L.A. Galaxy player lost his job because his wife was doing racist things on social media. Not a lot of precedent for that one. Drew Brees said something that wasn't controversial to him 10 days ago. He's apologized for it three times now, including going after the president of the United States. So the rules have kind of changed on where the lines are on this, and you've got some paradigm shifting going on. And the backstory here is some Iowa players have come out, many Iowa players have come out and said that they have been mistreated by their strength coach, longtime strength coach, very well-paid strength coach. And the question then becomes about accountability. How high does it climb? And when the crimes are bad enough at a time that players have felt helpless, maybe all their lives, but suddenly don't feel so powerless anymore, loudly telling you that Kirk Ferentz allowed a strength coach to be a different kind of abusive, even though most strength coaches are all kinds of abusive. So these players not very often are going to feel like they're in a position where they can go after somebody like this but they're doing so with one voice and so when that's the case it gets troublesome for Kirk Ferentz but I don't know how you get him out of Iowa Bomani if you think what Chris Doyle did with those players is fireable and I do believe that it is fireable then Kirk Ferentz has to go with him and since Kirk Ferentz is running this like a family business where he's got his son as the offensive coordinator you basically need to get everybody out of there if you see the tweets from the players what the players are saying is that this is widespread. This is not just a one-time thing. Now, here's my issue with Ferentz, and this is what bothers me about what's going on. If there's going to be like a quote-unquote real change in things, you got to just stop taking white people's word for it when they say, hey, man, I didn't know that this was going on. This dude, Doyle, that's his man, right? Like, it's not just some dude who works from him. And the relationship generally with the strength coach and head coach is very strong. But in this case, it is specifically strong. So you're going to tell me that Chris Doyle is out here calling these kids ghetto to their faces. But when he talks about them to Kirk Ferentz, he doesn't talk about them being ghetto. When somebody misbehaves or gets in trouble, you're telling me that Doyle and Ferentz are there by themselves, that Doyle isn't using the same language there. Because what Kirk Ferentz would have us believe is that he had no idea that his strength coach Talk to these players in this way. The strength coach that he loved so much that when something like 13 Iowa players early last decade had overworked ailments because the strength coach was running them into the ground, Ferentz invented an award for assistant coaches and then gave it to him. If this guy goes down, then the head coach should go down. But they don't want the head coach to go down. So it's going to take more than what we got here. Yeah, I think this is only happening because of what's happening in the broader society. So this comes to light. We care about it for a moment. And I can't imagine that the University of Iowa or the fans of Iowa are going to try to get rid of the one coach they feel like can keep them consistently respectable. So I'm not sure who's going to put the pressure on them. Maybe it's us. Maybe it's someone else. I don't imagine that the Iowa fan base is a fan base that's going to galvanize around this particular topic and run Ferentz off as much as they might if he was losing too much. Dom, you need to explain to us, because you have a particular kind of expertise here, how crazy just across the board the strength coach is all across college football. Oh, strength coaches are lunatics. So for people to complain about what a strength coach is saying, the bar is so low for strength coaches <laughs> to be civilized. Like strength coaches are the ones who like will bite into a can and chew up aluminum. Mm -hmm. Those are those guys who are in a pregame banging their heads on the locker, even though you ain't going to play, trying to get everybody else hyped. Strength coaches are the ones who wear shorts and short sleeve shirts in a blizzard just because like watch the sideline. It will be easy to pick out the strength coach, the one who is acting most absurd. I guarantee you that is the shrimp coach. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN Plus.